Hi everyone, and welcome to Wasteland 3 Alpha. So, you might or might not remember Wasteland 2. If you don't, it was a tactical turn-based strategy RPG released back in 2014. And this is Wasteland 3 Alpha, which is focused mostly on combat. The full game is coming in 2020. And the Alpha was released, like, basically today, which is 21st of August. Let's check it out, shall we? I'm quite curious. Wasteland 2 was pretty damn good. Right click to drive, hold right click to continuously follow the mass cursor. Mission reach Aspen at all costs. Remember this is a demo, many aspects will change in the final game. Alright then, I haven't actually played yet, so this is like my first experience with Wasteland 3 Alpha. Here we are, that's us. We get to drive for now. And this is our squad right here. Can we see some details? Yes, we can. Okay, then. So we have a trooper. Level 15 trooper. Level 15 combat medic. Level 15 sniper. And level 18 hobo. Okay. <laughs> Thief's kit. Lock picking plus one. What do we have here? A sickle, which is a melee weapon. Hobo shotgun. Okay. Snake squeezings. The one and the only. Alright, what about the other dudes? Some armor. The fusal kit, plus one explosives, an assault rifle, a submachine gun, a frag grenade, a medic pack. Okay, what about the actual combat medic? Medic pack, injury kit, and antidote. We also got a light squad weapon and a rocket. Oh, I like that. Requires six big guns. And a stethoscope. Plus one first aid skill. And the sniper. Some armor, as usual. Grooming brush, what? Plus one animal whisperer, okay. Tundra rifle, which is a sniper rifle. A handgun, which seems to require six small arms, but we don't have that. A machine turret, interesting. So that deploys a robotic machine turret that will attack your enemies self-destructs after combat has ended. And the medic pack. Then we have some attributes. Let's see what we got here. Coordination. Coordination is your physical condition, self-control and health. Take care of your body and it will take care of you. So here we can see the exact effect of our current coordination skill. Then we have luck, which is fairly self-explanatory, I guess. We get more critical chance more crit resistance and more evasion from luck. Awareness. Awareness is your sense of surroundings. A good ranger knows that often it's your eyes and ears that keep you alive. So we get higher hit chance, we get precision strike rate, and ranged damage bonus. Okay, then we got strength, which is kind of like awareness but for melee. Then we got speed. Combat speed, evasion, initiative, penetration. Intelligence, critical chance and critical damage. And charisma, precision strike rate, leadership range and experience bonus. Alright then, can we see anything else? Nope, these are all locked. And here are the detailed stats of this particular guy. Alright, let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, let's. Looks like we're going in this direction. Is there like a map or something? No? And this is as far as I can zoom out. In fact, you can't zoom in or out. This zoom level is locked at the moment. I assume we will run into some enemies. That seems to be kind of the point of this demo. Team November, out of Arizona. Broadcasting on all Desert Ranger channels. Yes, we hear you. So, anything going on over here? The Patriarch's crazy ass son is holding me and my team captive. You need to come get us, but be careful. Okay. Being careful is my specialty. Uh, not. Aspen. This snowfield resort used to be the home of the 100 families elite. That was before the psychotic Victor Buchanan and his crew 
of drugged out breathers showed up. Okay, enter area. Right click to move, drug select to control your squad, mission locate and capture victory. And we are not actually in combat yet, so we can move around freely. Here are some dudes. Alright, let's move into some better positions, shall we? Our sniper can be on the right side. There is cover, which we can see right now, that's full cover. Our medic can be maybe right here. Scotchman should probably be more in the front because he has a shotgun. And the shell shock as well. And we should try to take the first shot, if possible. So we can see their detection radios. Okay, let's move a bit closer and we'll take a shot at this guy. Here, nice. That was decent damage. And now we are in combat. So how about we maybe throw a grenade? Yeah, that is a nice target for a grenade. Alright, let's go. There, nice. We almost killed the guy on the left. And we killed the guy on the right. We can also use our tank. Which has a pretty nice weapon, a railgun. 100% base chance to hit. Range 21. Okay, let's give it a shot, shall we? 85% chance to hit, or 90% on this guy, but he's slightly out of range. Here. Nice. How many can we kill? A lot of them, actually. I can be in range with Scotchmo. That's 51% chance to kill him, basically. And unfortunately we missed. That's fine. Let's see, what about Banshee? I could actually use the handgun instead of the sniper rifle. Which would give me two shots. But sniper rifle might still be a better choice. Yeah, with the sniper rifle we can actually kill this fella right here. There, he's down. And then I could still overwatch with the handgun. Because that requires three action points. So let's do that, in case they try to charge us. Then we got Shell Shock. So Shell Shock actually has precision strike. Which seems to be charging or so. Let's just shoot this guy. No, we are out of range, hold on. And I can't really move any closer or I won't be able to take a shot. Just shoot this guy. Here. We should be able to use precision strike on the next turn. If I'm not mistaken. We still got the dock. He can still try to do something. What's our chance to hit? 60% from over here. And it will also be full cover. Sounds good to me. Go, go, go. Here, we got him. Nice. That leaves us with three enemies. But that's basically my turn done. Not much else I can do. We can reload, but there's no need. I can also move. Probably best if we stay in full cover. Alright, let's end the turn. Here comes the Overwatch, or Ambush. It's Overwatch for me, okay? Alright. So first, let's use the tank. I like that railgun thing. 40%, 90%. Okay, let's go for this one. Nice. And let's check out precision shot. Right here. So target a specific area of an enemy to inflict special effects. Let's see, we can target the head. Deals 25% bonus damage and has 50% chance to deal plus 175% bonus damage. We can target the arms. Reduces the target's hit chance by 50% and 30% chance to deal plus 50% bonus damage and reduce the target's damage by 75%. I like this. We can target the body, deals plus 35% bonus damage and reduces the target's armor by 75%. And we can target the legs, reduces the target's combat speed by 
and we will also have 75% chance to inflict bleeding on the target. This shot won't kill him, will it? No, I don't think so. Also, our chance to hit is not that great, actually. Probably best if we target this door, the Crazer. And we can still use Precision Strike. So, what's the best option here? I just need extra damage. We could target the head. We can target the body. That's guaranteed to do more damage. Alright, let's go with that one. And then we can finish him off with the pistol. That will do. That's three action points and he's dead. And I can still use my primary weapon. Or I can use precision strike with the pistol. It's not highlighted anymore. Okay, that's weird. Maybe you can't switch the weapon. Either way, let's shoot the breather. And miss terribly. Well then, that's slightly unfortunate. We can however move into cover, flank the other breather, and shoot him with the shotgun. There, it won't actually kill him, but it's pretty damn good damage. Then we can kill him with the railgun. Goodbye. Alright then. I think that's pretty much it. I'm out of range for that one. So just use ambush in case he tries to move closer. And I think I can take a shot with dog. Yes, I can. It's only 11%, but it's 7 times. I could also use the rocket. But maybe we shouldn't waste our rockets. Ammunition seems to be limited. Here. Yeah, the ambush wasn't too bad. I didn't really take a lot of damage. So we're fine. Does the tank have unlimited ammunition? It seems to have unlimited ammunition, I don't know. Wait, it says zero ammo in inventory. But we can still keep firing. Well, either way, they are dead. Let's check out the loot. I assume there's loot involved. <laughs> My favorite part. Yep, there's loot, alright. Savage armor. Plus 9 armor, minus 0.3 combat speed. And some more armor. And ammunition. I'm just going to loot everything, and then we can see what's an upgrade and what isn't. We can also highlight everything we can interact with using shift. Everything except corpses, apparently? No, we can also highlight corpses. So we got a medic pack, nice one. And another medic pack and the injury kit. Yeah, that looted several corpses in the general vicinity, not just the one I specifically targeted. Then we got some flamethrower fuel, except I don't actually have a flamethrower. Some ammunition. Alright, and looks like we have to open this. There's the generator. Medical crate, I like the sound of that. Antidote and crystal clear. These amazing tablets immediately remove any current negative effects acquired from substance abuse. Except shamed. <laughs> Sounds about right. Alright, so let's just open this. And turn on the generator. I assume we'll have to repair it. There it is, it's repaired. Alright, weapons crate. Pulse rifle. That sounds useful. And energy cells. I'm going to check out all the loot before we move on. Obviously. Eternity tarts. The snack that even at the end of the world couldn't kill. Eat to restore a small amount of condition, okay? So I could just eat it right away on this guy because we don't heal automatically between fights. We have to actually heal ourselves. So there it is. Yeah, that's not a whole lot of health, but You're a lifesaver. it's something. Alright, let's move on. There's some more loot. Ammunition box. I'll take that. Grenade box. I like the sound of that. Oh, requires level 9 lockpicking. And I actually literally cannot check what my lockpicking is, 
because skills are locked in this build. Can't even look at them. We got a shotgun. Pretty sure that's better than the hobo shotgun. But we'll check once we're done looting. I think we are almost done looting, basically. There's still one more weapon crate up here. Some Colorado dollars. And Aspen radio. Okay. And a submachine gun. Okay, I think we looted everything now. So before we move on, let's check what we can equip that would actually be an upgrade. The shotgun is definitely going to be an upgrade. It's right here. 41 to 61 damage twice. And ours does 38 to 56, so that is an upgrade. Okay, let's use that then. Other than that, what else do we have? I could replace the sickle with a submachine gun, for example, but let's keep one melee weapon equipped. We got six rockets right now. What about the armor? Well, this guy is not using any armor at all. Like, literally none. Combat speed penalty might not be the best with a melee weapon and a shotgun. However, not using any armor whatsoever is definitely bad. So let's just give him some armor. <laughs> that looks pretty crazy. Okay then. Maybe this one. Yeah, the penalty is not as bad on this one. And boots. Here you go. And that's pretty much it. I don't have a hat for you, unfortunately. <laughs> Clearly you already have one. And what about that other armor? Savage armor. Plus 9 armor. Is that actually better? That is slightly better. Again, with a bigger combat penalty. As in combat speed. This is also an improvement. But, again, combat speed penalty. Plus 7. Alright, let's get the armor. Yeah, that looks pretty crazy. Anything else? What about the weapons? We got the pulse rifle, is that actually an improvement or not? 23 to 29 damage, 3 times. Okay, that isn't really an improvement, but it uses a different ammunition type, which means it might actually come in handy. What about the submachine gun? Right here. That is not an improvement, but again, it uses different ammunition. I think we are basically done. I can equip some extra items. How about we equip the grenade? So that we'll have more than one. And Scottmo also has some inventory space. We can give him the injury kit. And what else? I guess that will do. And a medic pack. There you go. We got quite a few of those. But it's like one-time use. It disappears after you use it, as far as I can tell. There. Alright, let's move on, shall we? And check out this next area. Yep, we got a breather up there already. But we also got a booze box. Interesting. You'll hate yourself in the morning. Alright. Medical crate. Can we just go through here? Yes, we can. What the heck is this? That does not look very inviting. And it doesn't look very safe either. As far as I can tell. Can we just walk through this? I'm not totally convinced, but I don't know, I think so. This is totally safe, I promise. Okay, I don't think you can go through here easily, or can I? Can we open the door? No, requires level 9 lockpicking. And apparently we do not have that, so... I suppose we'll be going in the opposite direction. Let's see what's going on here. Several nearby structures appear to be brand new. Looks like the breeders interrupted a building bomb. Okay. 
Is it me? Or do they got no face? A saw dog. Interesting. And we detected the trap. So I assume Scotchmo will be the best at disarming it. Maybe keep everyone away in case we fail. Oh, yeah. oh yep, we did actually fail. Requires level 9 disarm explosives or something. Okay. We should probably heal ourselves. Yes, let's maybe do that. Here. And I might have to remove the status effect. Can we see it? Seems to be gone by now. Well, at least the trap is gone. The dried blood caked on the cement mixer suggests some questionable building practices. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's building practices. Do we just kill that dog or what? I guess I don't have much of a choice. I assume that will alert literally everyone in this area. So maybe we can just like go around. Yeah, there are too many dudes around here. I guess I'll have to fight them. Okay, let's fight them. Shoot him or something. Come on, fire. Are you firing or what? What the heck? Well, never mind. I thought I fired, but apparently I did not. Did we alert everyone? I can't quite tell. The others didn't seem to move, so maybe we did not alert everyone. And how about we test this sickle? It should be fine. Requires two action points only, which means I could attack multiple times with it. Yeah, we can attack the saw dog multiple times. And one more. Apparently he missed. From melee range. Seems legit. Now we can use a pistol to finish it off. Who has a pistol? Oh, actually, yeah, this guy. Our sniper. There's no need to use the ammunition for the sniper rifle right now. We can finish off this fella. At least I think I can kill him quite easily. Let's take a look. Well, I can use precision strike. Might be a good idea to move first. Like so. And we could try a headshot. Let's try a headshot, why not? There it is, 72 damage. Not quite enough to kill him, but I think we can kill him. Can we kill him? Possibly. I got full action points here. Some machine gun from melee range. That might be our best bet. This is only 58%, but it's 8 times. Although, this weapon will fire three times. But again, I have to move one way or the other. Otherwise, my chance to hit will be terrible. Yeah, let's go with a submachine gun here. And he's dead, nice. Okay, we are not in combat anymore, so we did not alert everyone. Let's check out the loot. What's this? Junk, okay. Nitrogen tank. Looks like we can actually shoot it to cause an explosion. Enter generator. Okay, another saw dog on the other side. A weapons crate. Can we pick up the weapons crate without alerting anyone? Possibly. I think we can. Yes, I'll take that. That was a sniper rifle. Is it better than ours? Let's find out. That's the one. Red Dragon. 95 to 131 damage. Uh, that is actually better than mine. Yeah, it is. Quite a bit better, in fact. And it uses different ammunition. Okay, let's use it. There we go. Can we see how much ammunition we have in our inventory for that? Six ammunition in our inventory. Also, we need to actually reload, even though we're not in combat. It doesn't reload itself, I'm just saying. There. Okay. So, let's move on. What about this generator? I'm not quite sure what it controls. <laughs> but there it is, we repaired it. 
Okay. No, there is a patrolling dog just around the corner. And some other guys. Might be best to just kill them, to be honest. Yeah, I think we should just kill them. But this time I will take the first shot. Not at the dog. What the heck are you doing? That was not my intention at all. Just want to move into better positions. So how about like over here? Then we can take a shot. 45% is still kind of bad to be honest. But it will have to do. Wrong weapon. Here, that's better. Nice. Didn't quite kill him, but it was decent damage. He has a lot of health. 164 health? Shame we can't use the tank in here. That would have made it a bit too easy, I suppose. Okay, so we can move into cover and then take a shot with the sniper rifle. Let's do that. What's our chance here? 77%. Let's test the sniper rifle then. Here, that almost killed him. But almost is not quite good enough in this case. Who can finish the job? Oh, I could maybe use the rocket. Possibly. Seems like a good idea. Will that hit more than one of them? It doesn't seem entirely clear. Or I can just take a shot with my regular weapon. It's only 47%, but this will fire seven times, so it will kill him. Here, yeah, that was like way more damage than I needed, but he's dead now. And I can still move slightly. What else? Probably Overwatch for Scotch Mo. And no, he can move close enough to take a shot. But he might be a bit too close to the dog. I think Overwatch will be a better solution here. Take a shot at the Crazer? No, out of range. Okay, Overwatch it is then. Or rather Ambush. It's Overwatch for me, okay? I'm going to call it Overwatch. You can't stop me. Here they come. There it is. And we got the dog. We still got the Crazer, but that should be easy enough. He didn't even seem to do anything. Is he in Overwatch himself? Not anymore, he's not. There, done. Wait, we are still in combat, so... Are we in combat with that breather all the way in the back? Let's just ambush then. With the pistol. Yes, we are in combat with him. Sure, whatever. 10% is maybe a little bit too low for my taste. Just slightly too low. That's better. And we can use precision strike. And no, out of sight. Apparently. Let's overwatch again. I could use the rocket now, but I don't necessarily want to. I don't have that many of those. I don't even have that much ammunition for the sniper rifle. So preserving ammunition seems like a pretty important part of the game. As for Scotchmo... Well, just keep him back here. The only problem is that that makes him fairly useless. Because he has low range. Let's move a bit closer. There, done. Okay, here he comes. He does have 121 health. There, nice! Not quite sure what exploded there. Some barrel. Let's check the loot. I assume they had something useful. Yep, that's not too bad. I'll take everything and then we can check our inventory after. Ammunition, that's definitely appreciated. More balls. Can't go wrong with more balls, clearly. And the grenade box. Can we open that one? Let's find out. No. Requires level 9 lockpicking, which apparently we do not have. So, alright. Here. We can heal ourselves with that. Was that called, like, slackers or something? 
Yeah, Slackers barked. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Well then, we did take like a little bit of damage. Might as well use that. Or we can keep it for later, once we take more. Right, so I cannot open the grenade box, unfortunately. We still got a medical crate back here. Oh, and the trap. Uh, will I trigger it? Uh, move out of there, come on. No, we did not trigger it. That was lucky. Nitrogen tank. Can we open the safe? Apparently we can, but we cannot open a grenade box. Seems legit. We got a Meson cannon. That looks pretty good. 85% base chance to hit, so higher than most of our other weapons. 25% chance to apply shocked. It uses energy cells. It requires 7 in big gun skill. Not sure if we actually have that. Ice spike. Emits cryogenic pulses that turn nearby enemies into ice blocks. It's up to you to turn them into ice cubes, okay? So, do we have enough skill to actually use that weapon? This one. Do we have the skill to use it? Doc can use it. Instead of the rocket launcher, for example. Or instead of the light squad weapon. We got 46 energy cells, which seems enough for a while. Okay, let's give him that one. Right here. That is definitely an upgrade. And I'm keeping the rocket launcher. We got six rockets right now. And I assume one is loaded, so that would be seven. And I assume we have to reload. And no, we don't. It's already loaded. Okay, anything else in here that we can check out? Looks like that's basically it. Grenade box. Yeah, I already checked that one. We cannot open that one. Okay. So I don't know how much longer this beta is, but that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Let me know what you think. I'm quite looking forward to seeing more, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing the full game next year. But for now, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, comment and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.